Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your moving platform only start moving once the player has jumped on top of it. So this is a direct follow up to my previous tutorial on how you can make a player stay on the moving platform when the platform's moving so they don't fall off. And while the general idea can be applied to other setups for moving platforms, I'm going to be directly editing the code in my previous tutorial. So there's a knight up in the corner if you want to quickly implement that solution. Let's get right into it. So firstly, I'm going to open up my moving platform script. And I'm going to insert two variables. The first one is serialized field bool start to move in equals true, and private bool already move in equals false. So basically, this is going to be a serialized field we can put on our moving platform. If it's equal to true, that means the moving platform will start moving by itself. If it's false, that means the player has to go on it before it starts moving. And this means we can use the same moving platform and you can then just tick a box to whether or not you want it to start moving when the player goes on it, or if it should move by itself. And then we're going to do a private bool already moving equals false. And this is going to be a boolean that's going to store if we're already moving or not. Which you'll see why we need it in a moment. The next thing you want to do is in the start function, remove the start coroutine start moving line of code. Then underneath the start function, you want to make this new function called public void start moving. If already moving return already moving equals true and start coroutine moving platform. So firstly, we're going to check if we're already moving. And if you put a boolean in an if statement, by default, you're checking for true. And if we're already moving, we're just going to do return. If we're not moving, we're going to set already moving to be equal to true. And then we're going to do start coroutine move platform to execute the code we made in the previous tutorial. And the reason is we don't want to keep starting our movements logic every time the player goes on top of the moving platform. So we do this guarded if statement to prevent that. That's all the code you're going to need for the moving platform script. Now go into the platform collision script. And at the top, you need to do serialized field, moving platform, moving platform. And this is going to be a reference to the moving platform script on the moving platform parent, which will be this script here. Then in the on trigger enter function, Underneath other.gameObject.transform.parent equals platform, do moving platform dot start moving. So when the player lands or moves onto our moving platform, we want to call the start moving function. Then we can save our work and go back to Unity. Now in Unity, we need to go to our platform parent and then op expand the hierarchy to go down to our moving platform and then expand it again to go to our collision. And as you can see, there'll be an empty serialized field for something called moving platform. Drag and drop your platform parent into here. After that, you can save your work. Now, there's one more thing you need to do. Go back into Unity and in the start function of our moving platform script, you're going to want to do if start moving, start moving. So in the start function, if our moving platform has the start moving variable set to true, we're going to start moving the platform because we want it to move automatically, regardless of if the player goes on it or not. After that, save your work and go back to Unity. Our start moving is going to be set to true for now. So we're going to save our work and hit play. And as you can see, our moving platform is moving like it did before. So let's untick the start moving variable and then hit play. And as you can see, it hasn't moved yet. So I'm going to go onto the platform and now it started to move. And if I jump and fall into the void, the moving platform still continues to move. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.